Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling an interesting question from one of our viewers about managing variables in R packages. The viewer wants to know how to cleanly define a set of colors when a package loads and ensure they are cleared when the package is unloaded. Let's dive into the details of this challenge and explore some potential solutions. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you find that resolution. Now, let's continue on to the video. To define a set of colors when your R package loads, we can use the dot on attach function. This function is called when the package is attached to the R session. Next, we will create a helper function called dot register colors. This function will assign our color vectors using the assignment operator. To ensure that these variables are cleared when the package is unloaded, we will implement the dot on detach function. This function will remove the color variables from the global environment. While using the deep assignment operator is functional, it can lead to potential issues. A more elegant approach is to use the package environment to store your colors. In summary, by using the package environment, we can avoid deep assignment issues while still managing our color variables effectively. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To define a set of variables when an R package loads, you can create a function that checks if the package is loaded. If it is, return specific colors, otherwise use default colors. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To define a set of variables cleanly in an R package, you can use a function called .registerColors. This function assigns color values to variables without cluttering the global environment. When the package is attached, Dot on attach calls dot register colors, making the colors accessible by name. This prevents them from appearing in the global environment, which is a big advantage. The best part is that users can access the color palettes directly as variables without needing to call a function each time. This makes it user friendly and efficient. And that's it guys. I hope that's found the answer that you were looking for and you got through to that solution. If you did, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time, you have a technical issue, I'll see ya. Have a good one.